Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and this is December's update. So December, we're going to call it Hopeful December, partly because when I'm looking at the energy of December coming out of November, now remember November had some darker energies, not in a bad way, but kind of like pulling in, recovering, but December What's, what I see starting to happen is in all that darkness, meaning when we when we go in, like we're pulling in and um, feeling and sensing ourselves, kind of like recuperating from the bomb going off in October and then other things happening in November as well. But basically that pulling in energy. So now, even though we're still a little bit pulled in, what I'm watching is there's a energy frequencies like like lights, like a light coming in to the month of December. So it'd be almost like you see clouds and then like little rays of light just kind of pierce those clouds. So light is coming in. What that's indicating is a lot of the subconscious stuff that's been being activated that in some ways you haven't really understood what it, what it is. Um, like for example, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling an angst or you're feeling some, you know, some kind of like things are happening in your world and you just don't know really what's, what is it hitting? What's, what's the unconscious wounding that's getting activated. So now with December, what's going to be happening is there's going to be more awareness. Okay. So what, what that looks like, what that means is you'll be feeling your own energy, feeling your own reactions, feeling, you know, whatever wounding is presenting. But now rather than it kind of like what, you know, what's going on? I can't find it. I can't, I don't get it. What's up? Well, now it's kind of like it's going to start to be revealed. Okay. So those unconscious uh, woundings that have been, you know, buried, buried, getting activated, kind of like licking your wounds November. And then in December, awareness so now there's more awareness which makes us on some level it does make us feel a little bit more hopeful whoa okay i'm becoming aware oh now i know what that is oh now i understand oh i get it you know <laughs> it doesn't it, it can be other people like interactions with other people you know um connections and and how we interact and what we're talking about what's being revealed all of that's going to be coming more visible, more understanding, more clarity. And there's just something about the energy of December with that light coming in to so much of that darker energy, those darker frequencies than the subconscious, that energy of lightness does kind of make us feel like lighter. When we feel lighter within, we feel more hopeful. So December, it does have that quality of feeling more hopeful because you know we've been there's a lot of stuff going on it doesn't mean that there's still things that are happening in the world that those are coming to an end that's not really what's happening okay those energies might even get more intense you know more dissension that kind of thing but again it's about the visibility it's about exposure it's about things being revealed you know and um so the hidden stuff the hidden reasons, the hiding parts where people have been trying to hide the negativity, hide the damage, hide, hide their, you know, like the bad, 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 negative greed and, you know, uh, selfishness and judgment, judgmental and prejudices and racism, all these different things now. So much has been exposing, but now it's like it's piercing the subconscious. It's, there, it's a movement forward again with more light more light, more awareness, more consciousness in the subconscious. So even for those people that are extremely um, uh, negative, where everything is like black or white. So even these peoples are starting to have different kinds of understandings, different kinds of awarenesses, which is actually really good. We, we want people to have more understanding and we want people to start waking up to this whole the whole issues around hating each other because of you know whether your color of your skin or your beliefs or you know who you are okay there's every like everything just like ugly you know around the hatred and the judging and the making wrong and it's like 
finally there's some softening in the unconscious of everyone. Okay. So <laughs> even, you know, people that are like blatantly saying name calling and, and judging and Bible something, all of that, <clears throat> even these people, I mean, they can't help it because there's a piercing. There's a, like the light is piercing into the subconscious in December. Okay. So for me, that makes it everything more hopeful, meaning maybe some more positive changes can happen, or maybe even people who were believing one way are now waking up and realizing, wait a second, you know, believing what I've been believing creates separation. It creates hatred. It creates anger and resentment. And I don't, that doesn't feel good. And it's like more of really accepting people, accepting what's happening in people's lives, accepting people's choices. So in, in some way, it's like, it's a really, it's a very positive, really good, good, good energy. So hopeful December, meaning, oh, all this intensity, all the, you know, the blatant hatred and the blatant, you know, judging and the, the all the big, big energies that we're experiencing everyone's starting to have a little bit of a different awareness, which is really, really cool. It's a really good, 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 good thing, okay? So there's still some the volatileness though. There's still volatile happening with you know, Ukraine and Russia, volatile with the Palestinians and Israelis. There's still instability around all of that. And what I'm also seeing as I started tuning into that, it's almost like, um, the foundation is literally ch shifting. So it's destabilizing um, the anchoring in. What I mean by that is like, for example, I'm looking at the energy and I'm just looking at like, for example, the people that like in Palestine, the, in Gaza and that whole area, um, the, the people that are, you know, the enemy, so to speak, the Palestinians, the enemies of Israelis, Hamas, Hamas peoples, there's, um, there's an instability, meaning their foundation isn't as stable as it was. And that foundation that's kept them strong and on in, uh, intent on purpose, it's starting to, to shift. Like literally, I literally see it doing like, like rather than being this, I see this movement like this. So I'm watching the instability, you know, people are starting to question in a different way which is also indicative of that light coming in that I'm talking about for December, that light that's coming through, piercing all the subconscious, it's, it's affecting everyone, you know, even people who have extreme beliefs and, you know, extreme feelings of resentment and hatred and want to kill, whatever, it's everyone's being affected. So it's a global thing where the energy of December is piercing, it's just piercing the subconscious, it's piercing the darkness, it's piercing the, the hatred, all that really black, 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 black energy. And it's just creating that slight hmm, questioning of, hmm, what am I doing? You know what I mean? So it's on an individual basis, everyone's gonna start questioning, but in a good way, it will start affecting other you know, the, the world, uh, each other, other people. So uh, in some ways, thank goodness for, you know, helpful December, okay? So uh, for you to ride this through to get the most out of December, I'm gonna do a little activation when we're done, but basically now's the time to listen to your own knowing. Like if you're starting to question something, don't ignore it. Don't boohoo it. Don't try to rise above it. Maybe it's a belief you've had all of your life and all of a sudden you're questioning that belief. Something's changing. Go with the change, okay? Don't hold on to what you've been holding on to. Don't hold on to the old stuff. Move forward. Move towards the changes. Move towards the questioning of yourself of the world, of people, of hum everything. Question, question, because underneath all of that, as I watched the energy, you know, as those lights, bright rays are coming into the subconscious, they're hitting pockets of uh, different kinds of awarenesses, things that um, maybe you didn't remember and now you're remembering, oh yeah, that's how I used to feel about that. 
oh yeah, I remember that. That feels different. That feels way better. Okay. So it's really questioning the self, knowing that there's more hopefulness in December and facing yourself and letting go of things that no longer serve you that are like, oh, paradigm, the old ways and negativity is old paradigm. Hatred and judgments is old paradigm. All of that's old paradigm. So we want to lighten up our hearts. We want to open our hearts. We want to bring light. So the way to do that is shine your light. And how do we shine our light? Connect with that core energy deep inside our divine light. Stay there. Start, you know, spending time living in that space. And you're going to find there's no hatred there. There's no judgment. There's no good, bad, right, wrong. You're not finding fault. There's no emotion there. Okay, that's a new, neutral state of being. That's creator consciousness. And we want to start living there. When we interact with other people, when we hold our awareness in our own light, what happens is, is it wakes people up to their light. And this is what we really want. I mean, we want the pe we want everyone to live in the truth of who they are, which is an amazing light being. You know, in the very core, they're just love and light. So why not act, help people to find that? So the best way to do that is for us to do our part by holding our own light. You know, it doesn't mean you got to heal all your wounding. It, it's like there's a bypass that happens when we literally start practicing living in our own divine energy, our own divine light in the very core of who we are. There's something that begins to happen on many levels for us. Our attachment to our suffering starts to fade away. Our attachment to our beliefs start to fade away. Even our wounding, because wounding is just a misperception. It is not the absolute of who we are. So it's just a frequency of energy that can actually leave quite easily when we know how to make that happen, or we've got people that can help us. And we can also assist that the energy frequency dissipating in our own bodies and our own subconscious by spending more time in who we are okay in the very core that frequency which is that beautiful divine energy of pure love and light creator incarnate it's who we all are even the ugly ugliness even the hatred every human being every being every sentient being has that light within Okay, and even when you start looking at the at, at the molecular levels and atoms, there there's light. There's that light, that same light. That light is creation itself. That light is consciousness. That light is who we are. That pure light. Okay, so why not activate that? Okay, so before we do our activation, I just want to remind people that Chris and Sarah, my my accelerators, my heavy hitters are doing a dark force clearing on December 9th. You're gonna to wanna to get in on that, okay? Dark force clearing, Chris and Sarah, having a blast with that, okay? And then on December 15th, I'm activating your true purpose. This is also a group clearing. You wanna get in on that one, okay? <laughs> and then on December 22nd, you know how life is, all of the holidays. So that will be a, another group clearing that I will be doing. And that will be relief from stress and overwhelm. So those would be all really potent, powerful uh, group clearings, okay? All right, now let's do an activation for December. So hopeful December. Literally, I'm just gonna go into the core of you. I'm gonna go into your light because activating your light is the way to do it. That's like bringing forth your true divine nature, your true frequency of pure love and light. So right now, right deep, deep, deep inside, I'm gonna go right into the frequency of your light, of that light that you are. That, mm -hmm, there we go, right there, right there, right there. I'm gonna make sure you're anchored in with the seat of the soul. So I'm just gonna pull your energy in, pulling your soul levels in and anchoring you. Stop. There we go, good. Now, activating. Now I'm be blasting activation, activation, white flame, activating, activating, activating. Stop, stop, stop. Light, 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 light. Activating, 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 activating. Big, big, expanding, 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 expanding. Light, 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 light. Your light, your divine light, your true, true self. Yep, light, light, light. Stop. 
go. There we go. Expanding, expanding, expanding. All right. Cool. All righty. Hopeful December.